came down to the river looking for otters and we didn't see any but what we have seen is something pretty spectacular take a look big giant white bird right there is known as an American white pelican, Pelicanus erytrorhynchos. And that is a beautiful bird. I love watching them in summertime. They actually, <clears throat> the males will get this crest on the top of their bill. It'll turn a bright red. They'll get a little red on their head. And they are amazing birds. They'll fly in formation when traveling, when they're migrating. This is a migrating species. It'll fly south here very soon. Um, and they'll get uh, into different you know, flocks of five to 30, and they have these, you know, jet black tips of their primary feathers coming out when they're flying. They're, they're easy to spot. You can see them from so far away. They're such a large bird. They're actually one of the largest birds in North America behind the whooping crane, sandhill crane, and maybe one species of swan. I'm not 100% sure. But out of the two pelican species we have, the brown pelican and the American white pelican, that is the larger of the two. Now, the brown pelican, which is found on the coastal areas of water, you'll see them in the Gulf, you'll see them in the Atlantic, on the Pacific, they have a very different style of fishing than the American white pelican. Both are fish eaters, um, that's why they live by the water. The, the uh, brown pelican has uh, kind of have air sacs in front of their skull, or sorry, behind their skull, between the brain and the skull, they have a bunch of air sacs. And what happens is they'll fly around, they'll get about, oh, 20 feet off the, off the, uh, off the water, upwards of 60 feet even. And they'll fly around, they'll look, and when they see small fish they can eat, they'll actually turn and they'll dive into the water and they'll tuck in and they'll spear it. They'll, they'll grab it with their bill but they'll grab it quickly and they'll penetrate the water fully. And when they do that, they're impacting the water so hard that to a normal animal, including humans, it could be fatal. But for them, their brains actually will hit those air, those air sacs and will actually act like an airbag and it'll cushion before it gets to the skull. So they don't cause any brain damage. Now the American white pelican does not fish in this manner. What they like to do is they'll actually do exactly what he was doing, swimming, which was really cool to see on the river, by the way. It's something um, I have actually not seen. I always see them in lakes and ponds. So it was really cool to see them on a river uh, swimming and fishing. And what they like to do is they'll actually get a group together. That's when they're most successful. And they'll actually canter. Each one will be a little bit behind the last one. And they'll take turns just like geese do when flying long distances. You'll see geese switch out because of the air resistance. And we'll talk about that another time. But what they like to do is they'll canter off on a slight angle and they'll swim. Um, here in a river, they'll actually swim upstream. They'll fight eddies. And what they like to do is they'll, they'll swim up, they'll have that cantering motion, and these front ones, the fish will see, and they'll actually turn down. And as they continue up, the fish has nowhere to go but gets closer and closer and closer, and eventually one of the end ones will grab a meal. And as these ones fill up and get fuller, they'll move up the line and these other ones will drop back and fall into place in the back. And so then they get to feed. And they do this slight funny angle and you'll see it in ponds and lakes and now you'll see it in a river. And that's how they feed. They actually shuffle fish down the line till the fish get too close and they actually can scoop them up. And you'll see a big giant, you know, underneath their bill, you'll see this uh, extra flap of skin that they have and they can actually hold water. That's what you see in the cartoons and that, that's the American white pelican. and. Sometimes they can catch large fish. Anything they can swallow whole, they'll eat for fish. Uh, so you won't see a fish that big in their, you know, inside their, their, uh, their throat sack, but uh, it's mostly water, but they will shuffle the water out. They'll actually squeeze that down and they'll get the water out and then they'll swallow the fish whole. 
Well, we truly hope you guys enjoyed that view of the American White Pelican. That was really special to see one in the river. Uh, it does happen, but it's pretty rare. They tend to stick to ponds and lakes. So really hope you guys like that shot. I loved it. Um, I know Blair liked it. She was out back there grinning behind the camera. So, yep, we'll see what we see next. <laughs>